Hey everyone, welcome to Axel TV. Today, um, I think today we're just going to talk about net neutrality. Welcome to Axel TV. You know you want to watch it. In the UK, why is that important? Because net neutrality rules for the USA is officially dead. Many f will say it officially died a month ago or six months ago, but now it is officially dead. The site claims that it's not dead and it's hard to believe that where the hope that I have in net neutrality has completely gone, it has. To me, how I feel like is that Congress or the people that you're emailing or phoning or whatever is not listening, they're not doing their job and that's where I've lost all hope. But the real sad thing is that they've recently, as of AT&T, AT and T, has purchased Warner Brothers and DC Comics. Now, does this mean that they can shut down a franchise? Does that mean do they stop making comics? Does that mean they stop the rights of, of let's say, Rocksteady? Do they stop them from making a Superman game? Those are all the questions I have about this. To me, this is not great news. This is not. Because unless if they say, oh, we're not going to stop making movies, or we're just going to carry on with the Wish DC plan, the Wish of DC plan is still to have an Aquaman film this year, and then sometime soon we've got The Flash, we've got Suicide Squad 2, we've got Shazam, which looks looks fantastic and much more up until the year 2022 and it will be sad if we see that plan getting shorter because of the purchase and it does it scare me yeah it does like when I hear the words net neutrality most of the time it's dead just talking hey what is net neutrality or net neutrality is net neutrality that but what I see where well is the viewers and the young people who are teenagers not expressing how they feel if there's a news channel then I don't like to count it because they have producers co-producers planners writers all of that stuff simple really I could make a news channel and I could do what they do after all it is YouTube now they've also said that it's also a possibility that they could be purchasing HBO and other um, TV stuff but um, I don't go on HBO that much I know it but to me I'm not so sure if it's very popular but it is scary because um, for the USA I feel bad for you because there's nothing I can do like again I've been I've said this before if you know a way for people in the UK to help people in the USA then please let me know but if you're gonna say oh why about go on their website well they hold on So it says name, email, address, SIP, and then also phone, SIP, SIP. You know what is actually supposed to be there? For the UK, I'm guessing that would be postcode. But for SIP, that doesn't exist in the UK. I don't know of any SIP in the UK. That's the problem. That's why we can't email them because we've got no sip at all so if there's a way for me to help then please let me know so if you have a YouTube channel or if you have a website I will provide a link down below use some of the stuff that they that they have provided for you to put on your own website or for a YouTube video tell them about net neutrality and tell them that it's well dead but apparently to the website the fight has just begun 
Look, if I hear in the next couple of months that um, the slowing down of the internet process for Mailcat has gone large and you're now having to pay to go on YouTube, the fight would have just completely end it was because the only way that we we're able to actually know about net neutrality and set up all of this stuff is because of the internet if we've got no internet how can the fight be going on there is one way though you could pay for the internet and I guarantee most people would do that because it's the only way to go on or um, what what happened before the internet even existed? Oh, you're gonna have to think of other ways. Books actually going out, talking to people without using technology, if that is a possibility. So it is. I just want to be realistic, give my own thoughts about it, and just say how disappointed I am in. in in the people who are involved in saving net neutrality and how most of us have failed. So, I'm hoping the UK won't get much respected. I'm hoping that they're gonna put all of their focus on Brexit and just forget about net neutrality because net neutrality, we don't need it to be repealed here because then if it is, then hopefully there's something I can actually do about it. So, um, yeah, please know that I have no idea what the word Brexit actually means. Honestly, I have no idea. Every time I think of that word, I think of it being a country, a shop, or an item. Here, here you go, you Brexit, or, or a swear word. <laughs> anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, I've just finished editing a Crash Bandicoot documentary which will be scheduled for the end of the month and the trailer will come soon. I'll try and get to it. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. See ya.